Welcome to Ashesi University. I am Patrick Ewa. I'm the founder and president of Ashesi University. And I'm really pleased to be able to welcome you to this wonderful community that we call Ashesi. Founded in 2002, Ashesi University has received widespread acclaim and global recognition, most recently ranking first in Ghana and seventh in Africa in the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. Born in Ghana, Patrick attended Swarthmore College in the U.S. on a full scholarship before pursuing a successful career as an engineer and leader at Microsoft. Committed to creating opportunities for African students to develop and refine their critical thinking and their ethical leadership skills. Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lillian and in today's video, I'm taking you guys to a private, non-profitable university. Okay, I was confused. How do you mean private but non-profitable? But upon research, I got to understand what they mean. And that is why I'm doing this video because, because this, this kind of resonates with me. I mean, this, these are the things I want to see. These are the impacts I like to see and I like to talk about because they impact the life of everyone including people that ordinarily would not have gotten an opportunity because i love to see i love these grass to grace stories and this is why this video is so this video is not being sponsored all right i hope you're subscribed if you have not kindly hit the subscription button so today we are starting with achasi university located at the eastern region of ghana very close to accra this school have impressed me with so many things but i think we should start with a tour of their campus meet the staffs and then of course the founder and i'll be back let's go welcome to ashesi university i am patrick ewa i'm the founder and president of ashesi university and i'm really pleased to be able to welcome you to this wonderful community that we call ashesi If we can help our students discover who they are and understand where they stand in society and the responsibility that they have to their society, we would have achieved a great deal. A notion of a global standard of a world-class education or at least there should be such a notion and the fact that Ashesi is providing such an education here in Ghana on the African continent a continent that's not necessarily known for stellar education I think is really important Um, students who come through Ashesi are going to work in Ghana and they're going to work in many different parts of the world and everywhere they work is really going to benefit from that. family, invited guest, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Ashesi is rising and she is shining. Today, the launch of the Ashesi engineering program signals the shining of a new light. This is just a great day for Ashesi. Uh, the beginning of a whole new set of majors for us. The culmination of several years of work uh, to try to get a curriculum here uh, that fits in with the Ashesi model. We asked ourselves in 2012, after we had moved to this campus, what we needed to do to strengthen Ashesi's impact. Choosing to start an engineering program was the next best thing we, we believed we could do because we could see in a strong way how engineers influence the world we live in. 
We visited some of the world's best engineering schools to see firsthand what their best practices were. We invited industry stakeholders, from educators to employers, to help us understand the ways in which they believed engineering education could be improved in Ghana. We took all that input and built a world-class engineering program focused on enabling creative thinking and an entrepreneurial spirit. And it is with a great sense of hope and pride that I share with you today that 40% of our pioneer engineering class is made up of women. Engineering, because it's a very male-dominated field, I'm very glad for the opportunity to um, begin this course here because I feel like it's a chance to you know show that indeed women are also gifted in math and science and can also um, make a difference in the world. Today, October 3rd, 2015, will be remembered as the day a community of people took a bold new step that accelerated Africa's growth. Today's a really big milestone with the development of the whole engineering program because it's a day where we can celebrate a particular point in time in which we have established the program. Today is a day of celebration of everything, all the hard work that's come before it. And what distinguishes the chassis and makes its existence so important is that it's a homegrown product. And I'm optimistic that we will. If I'm correct, we'll look back on this time in days like today and realize that it was the beginning of a new and better era for everyone. It is a moment that ushered in a new era of progress and exploration. The building we are here to commission this morning was constructed with the aim of producing engineers who are able to define society's problems and find solutions to them within a local context. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all witnesses to the significant contributions Ashesi is making to the development of this nation. My name is Eugene Kuzaijam. I come from Zimbabwe. I feel learning at Ashesi is a wonderful experience because we are exposed to a lot of uh, opportunities every day. Like today, I had an awesome opportunity to meet the Vice President for Ghana. Ashesi gave me the opportunity as a woman in the STEM field to pursue my passion in engineering without anybody discouraging me. I also came because of the liberal arts curriculum. So it means that I'm not just receiving an engineering education, but I'm being made to develop all around for who I'm going to be in the future. We learn from the existing facility, what we have, what we need. We looked at different universities in Ghana and outside Ghana. The construction work went smoothly, it was finished on time, and today, as you can see, we commissioned. May Ashesi's engineering program shape our understanding of how the world works, how we can make it better, and how the university education system can be an engine of innovation for many, many years to come. If it can be done, I know it can be done in Ashesi. Thank you. I really enjoy teaching. I enjoy exposing students to new knowledge and see there are reactions to that. I have always been passionate about challenging students, about showing students the reasoning and the applications of their education. When I teach, my purpose is not simply to communicate information. My purpose is to trigger a conversation within the, the minds of the people I am teaching about the material. So I teach to create growth not simply to pass on information. It's good to see our students transform and either start their own businesses or um, start a career and they are successful with it. And they reach out to you later on and you're happy that you had an impact on, on shaping their outlook for their careers. And it gives you satisfaction to see that. Ashasi's academic curriculum has had the added advantage of an experiential curriculum, a holistic curriculum, more often achieved in primary education levels. 
and that happens because students in primary schools are taught all subjects by one teacher. Ashasi is able to achieve that nonetheless, but through a different type of teacher. It has a community of teachers and educators, drivers, facilities managers, student life staff, alumni, students themselves, and faculty who have one mission. And these different perspectives on our mission cumulatively produce a holistic learning experience for our students. What is your academic posture? Is it to get an A and you're done? Or is it to get that profession? Or is it to equip yourself with the knowledge, skills and dispositions that will make you able to service a community and make it better than how you found it? Learning begins and ends in constraints. The science of learning has shown us that the brain was not designed to learn the way we know learning is today. And so it's not surprising that learning takes effort, practice, and purpose. Welcome to Learning at Ashasi. Hello, class of 2024. Congratulations on getting into Ashesi University and congratulations on starting a brand new semester online at the university. We're taking all the measures necessary to make sure that you have a really good experience as you join the university this coming semester. We're working diligently with our IT team to make sure that you have all the resources that you need uh, in terms of data support and other IT infrastructure to make sure that you have the best academic experience. And we're also really looking forward to you physically coming to campus, to our beautiful campus. We're putting things in place. Some new projects are currently on the way, including the construction of a brand new dorm. So we're very much looking forward to welcoming you on campus. But until then, I wish you all the best and much success this semester. And I really look forward to meeting you in person when you're physically here on campus. Take care. Yeah, now let's go back and take a look at the people that have taken this route before because I love fit back everything and anything you do in life other people have done it it's good to take a look at them and see where it leads them to know if you would or wouldn't do it and that is why i would like us to take a look at the alumni of this school these guys are highly placed i lie you not i'm not overhyping this is something that alumni cut across in every sector of the economy both local and international and that is one thing i'm dying to show you guys i'm dying to show you guys where do we start apple microsoft you just mastercard or let's do local let's start from home and then we'll go up later let's go the most important aspect of greenhouse production is a human resource the reason why 90 percent of our greenhouses in ghana have not worked is because of the little attention that has been paid on the human capacity building of these farmhands. And we don't want to take that for granted. Hi, I'm Stephen Odata Fio. I graduated from Ashesi in 2012, computer science. I've been in agribusiness for the past eight years from private equity, um, specifically fundraising, research, and management consulting. My first job at Ashesi, I worked with Goldman Sachs in London um, in the Global Investment Research Division. And I was offered a private equity um, opportunity um, with Sage West Holdings by Mr. Kofi Kwakwa of Sage West Holdings and I pretty much um, was heading the investment research desk that appraised um, projects within the agribusiness space worth about 20 million dollars. So I'm currently the managing consultant for Green Path Farms. Um, at Green Path Farms what we do is we are a greenhouse vegetable farm, about 30 greenhouses. We produce bell peppers, cucumbers and tomatoes. It's been a very interesting journey, uh, very exciting. I've gained a lot of experience while bringing experience to the table in managing this um, fantastic setup. We raised about a million Ghana cities, um, renovated all the 30 greenhouses, and today we are producing about 45 tons worth of greenhouse vegetables, bell peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Um, in the second half of the year, we would add about 70 greenhouses to um, the existing setup that we have over here. This would move our revenues from 2 million Ghana cities per year to about 15 million Ghana cities per year. What I recall most about my time at Ashesi and what impacted me the most was the leadership series, especially the one targeted at social entrepreneurship. It was the first time I was hearing about social entrepreneurship. So it was exciting, learning about how different change makers across the world were making change. Upon graduating from Ashesi, 
I was wondering how I could merge my business administration degree with a career in impact. I am Anatinina Abdullahi of the class of 2013. My major was business administration and my first job after a Shesi was as an analyst at Growth Mosaic. I'm now an MBA candidate at Oxford Said Business School. Since graduating at Shesi, I worked at Growth Mosaic and then I worked at Miripa Capital, helping to improve the investment readiness of small and growing businesses to help them access impact investment. Before I came to Oxford Said, I worked with the MasterCard Foundation to help them design, manage and implement entrepreneurship programs targeted at increasing the number of quality jobs for young people, especially women. The project I am most proud of of my time at Growth Mosaic is the one where we worked with the MasterCard Foundation and Comfort. We worked on a project to increase the impact of women-led businesses in Ghana. In addition, I work as a consultant for the MasterCard Foundation's Colors Entrepreneurship Fund, which is at Ashesi. I've seen Ashesi grow into a more trusted brand that is recognized across the globe. I've also seen Ashesi create more opportunities for students. And I've seen Ashesi go into different disciplines, including engineering, and having now a master's program. This has been exciting to see the growth since the days in Laboni to now a growing and blooming campus on the hills of Brekusi. The impact that I want to have in this industry is in two parts. I want to make sure that by the time I leave, our Ghanaian players out there are getting the sort of recognition, you know, this, the sort of reception and just basically the coverage that they do deserve and that they're not left in the cold because what people forget is that they're playing in other countries and journalists in those countries would always prioritize players from their countries and so who is their voice, who is standing up for them. My name is Ray Gompofo, class of 2018, Computer Science. My first job after Ashesi was working as a sports journalist with the multimedia group, uh, that specifically Joy News and then Joy FM. Right now, I'm still a sports journalist, but this time with Media General, specifically with TV3 and 3FM. Honestly, these guys are doing amazing, but the truth is, this is truly a non-profitable school. They have scholarships that they give here and they also have financial aids, which I think I will play that video later for better understanding. But I would like us to take a look at the impact that Achasi University is making within its host community, the impact they are making. My friend is Matilda Agura. My friend is Christopher and Amalia. Asasi University 2017. I was sincere answer. 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 I was sincere and for so won't be brave. I'm our becatcher, and I'm say, Hey, and your own apply now. Your mom pie said, I'm over fana. And see, I'm a fan, no becatcher, many jay, pa, many jay, say, one young school can see a wagana, ha, our barber court, day and day. I decided to apply to a chassis university when I realized Christopher was making good grades and also had a change in his character. So I was like, Wow. I would also like to have that for myself too. The day I received the email that I've been admitted to Chelsea University, I was the only one at the shop by then, so I had to text my brother, but he wasn't online. So I called my mother to tell her, and my mother was really happy. So that evening, I told my brother about it, and he was also happy I got it. At Chelsea, I'm looking forward to making new friends, gaining new experiences and also joining clubs in the school. Christopher Awe Aquinas and Asasi Foreman Scholarship. And to we are Oko Arizona. We are in the masters. And to we are in the masters, no, and we are in the apple. 
se se o ye djuma no abo abusia ne pa bebre enti ama ye sika sam enti se fese no enti se se a o nya o mane akakra na ye so ye bi abo aye ho kakra kakra Christopher working at Apple has given me the hope that a girl or a child from Donglu can work anywhere in the world and also have endless opportunities. I'm super thrilled to wish everybody in Birkusu and especially uh, Odefo uh, Otim Kranji all the best as he celebrates the uh, home festival. Dakura in terms of collaboration between the university and the people of Brekusu, first of all is in the area of education. Ashasi has been involved in several ways, such as providing scholarships to natives and residents of Brekusu to study here. And then we've had a number of initiatives from staff and students as well. Students from Ashasi University always come here to help the math teachers, to guide the children, to learn the math, some of the math topics. You know, we lack ICT lab, and Ashasi has given us a complete lab for which uh, twice in a week, they bring down their school bus to convey our kids to the university there for them to go and have a feel and touch of the computers there. Yo, 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 so many other videos, but I just have to like pick some and leave some because there are many. The lady and her brother who is now abroad, who all on scholarship from Achasi University to the U.S., from the U.S., working. Oh my God, this is, this is just, I, I was smiling and I was like, oh my God, grace, grace, grace. Yeah, because ordinarily as a parent i don't know how this woman would have been able to give her kids a bright future she's a big role model for me right now and i would like every mother to take a look at this woman i mean her son went to one of the best public schools in ghana look at her joining i mean this family in fact they are more than blessed i mean they are going to look back someday and thank god for their lives as a parent i don't think there's any other gift that you can give to your child more than the gift of a good education when there's any opportunity to do it a lot of mothers go all out to do it and this is just a story of grace two siblings all on the way to a bright future i would say one is already sitting pretty there at that bright future already he is now the future like he's the light of his family now the sister is also on that route all on scholarship some parents are just so amazing and intentional i mean this woman's story st thomas aquinas senior high from there to a chassis from a chassis to the u.s to further and now the guy is Oh my god what else can be greater than that anyways i do hope that you enjoyed this video and that i will see you in another one bye